this is Jo from Maths Tutor Me. Today we're going to do some algebra and we're going to look at multiplication in algebra. Last time I did a lesson on algebra we did addition and subtraction and when you're doing addition and subtraction you have to have like terms but today doing multiplication you can multiply any algebraic terms but to do that, first of all, you multiply the numbers and then the pronumerals. Okay, so there's no like terms, nothing to worry about with that. We just can multiply anything. We multiply the numbers first and then we multiply the letters. So let's have a look at some examples here. Simplify each expression. Number one, 6m times 4. So first, multiply the numbers. 6 times 4 is 24 and then it says multiply the pronumerals well there's only one pronumeral so it's m so multiply the m we just put it here at the end 24 m is the answer question 2 3a times 5b first multiply the numbers 3 times 5 is 15 and I have an a and a b which I multiply and put here at the end. Question 3. 10x times 2x. Multiply the numbers. 10 times 2 is 20. And x times x. Well, I could write xx, but the better way to write it is to write x squared, which is the short way of writing x times x. Question 4. 3a times 4b times 2c. Well, we can have as many things multiplied together as we like. The rules still work. We multiply all the numbers. 3 times 4 is 12. Times another 2 is 24. And all the letters a, b, c are multiplied here at the end. Question 5. 7xy times 3x. Multiply the numbers. 7 times 3 is 21. The letters. Well, I have x and x. x times x is x squared. And I also have a y. Question 6. Minus 6k times 11k. Well, we can multiply negative numbers. Remember, if you're multiplying numbers involving negative, a negative number and a positive number will give you a negative answer. Or it could be a positive and a negative, doesn't matter the order, will also give you a negative answer. If you're multiplying two negative numbers, you will get a positive answer. Okay, so here I have a negative number times a positive 11. So I'm going to get a negative 6 times 11 is 66 and k times k is k squared. Let's do that again. 7, question 7, minus 8mn times m times minus 5m. The brackets here aren't really doing much. The only purpose for them is to kind of point out that there is a minus sign in there that you're multiplying by a negative. So sometimes in questions you will see brackets there just to help you see the minus sign. So first of all, let's multiply numbers. We have a minus 8. Well, there's no number there. It's just a 1. That's not going to do anything. Multiply by a minus 5. Well, two negative numbers are going to make a positive, so the minus signs disappear. 8 times 5 is 40. Now let's look at all the letters. I have M, 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 there's 3, so it's M cubed, 3 of them multiplied together. And I also have 1N, so 40 M cubed N. Question 8. We can even do this with fractions. First of all, we multiply the numbers. 16 times a half, which is half of 16. Half of 16 is 8. 
h squared times another h, well, there was two there and another one, that's going to become h cubed. Question 9. Minus 3L times minus M times minus 7N. Let's look at the numbers. Minus 3 times minus 1. Well, I have a minus and a minus. That's going to make a positive, and I'll write it down for you, a positive 3. Okay, I can put the letters here, L, M. I'll just multiply those first two together first. Okay, then I'm going to multiply this third term. I have a 3, a positive 3, times a negative 7. A positive and a negative means I'm going to get a negative answer. 3 times 7 is 21. L, M, N. Okay, if you go to my website, you can actually print out all of these question sheets that I have for free. Um, the details are at the bottom of the page. Um, and you can practice. So now it's time to practice and you can pause the video and we'll go through the answers together. So question one, 5x times seven Multiply the numbers, 5 times 7 is 35, and any letters, the X sits afterwards. Okay, question 2, 3M times 10M, 3 times 10 is 30, M times M is M squared. Question 3, 2AB times a minus 4B, 2 times minus 4, a positive and a negative, will give me a negative. 2 times 4 is 8. Now we have 1a and we have b times b, which is b squared. Minus 8ab squared. Question 4. 5a times 2b times 8c. Multiply all of the numbers. 5 times 2 is 10 times 8 is 80 and the letters A, B, C will sit after. Question 5 minus 9Y times minus 4Z times 2Z. So let's look at the numbers minus 9Y times minus 4Z well, a minus times a minus will make a positive. 9 times 4 is 36. And I have a Y and a Z. Just from the first two terms, I still need to multiply that by the 2Z. 36 times 2 is 72. Y and there's 2Z, so Z squared. You may be able to go straight from this first line to the answer depending on how good you are at multiplying numbers together. If you're using a calculator you'll definitely be able to just multiply those numbers together and you'll be able to go straight to your answer. Question 6. 7PR times minus 2RS. 7 times minus 2, a positive and a negative, makes a negative. 7 times 2 is 14. There's a P. There's an R and another R, so that becomes R squared and 1S. So my answer is minus 14 P R squared S. And last question. 3XZ times minus 4YZ times minus 5X. Okay, let's do it in one, one go this time. So we want to multiply all the numbers together. So you can use a calculator if you're not good at times tables, or you can do it in your head. 3 times minus 4 makes a minus 12. Minus 12 times a minus 5, the two minuses will make it a positive, 
and 12 times 5 is 60. That's the numbers done. Let's look at all the letters. Um, X, there's one here and one here, so it's X squared. Uh, y, so there's only one Y, X, Y, and there is a Z and another Z, so two Z, so Z squared. 60, X squared, Y, Z squared. How did you go? Hopefully you're getting all these questions right and they're getting easier as you go. Keep trying to find as many questions as you can. Do lots and lots of practice and it will keep getting easier. Until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye.